Will 2024 be the year of the great motorhome crash? Here's what we know. Now, for a lot of people, a motorhome will probably be either the second or the single most expensive item that they buy in their lifetime. And the average cost of a second-hand motorhome at the moment is between £35,000 and £40,000. So people want to protect that investment. Quick question for you. What do you think was the average price of a brand new motorhome in 2023? Let me know in the comments below and we'll let you know the answer a little bit later on in the video. Now if you're watching this then you almost certainly have or you're looking to get a motorhome. And what you're probably thinking is that is 2024 going to be the year of the great motorhome price crash? Well I'm here to tell you what we know ready for the year ahead. But before we can look into the future we need to have a real long look at the past. So before COVID-19 and before the pandemic, the motorhome industry, like so many others, was really starting to struggle. They faced many challenges, such as a halt in manufacturing and a drop of sales. And that was made worse by the short-lived motorhome tax, which was brought in in the September before the pandemic started. That increased costs dramatically for buyers. And then with the onset of the pandemic and the restrictions when it came to working for non-essential stuff for when it came to travel and things like that that absolutely hammered the motorhome market and it severely halted sales and brought the sale of motorhomes alongside cars to the lowest performance since 1946. As we started to move out of the pandemic a lot of people like myself started to wonder whether there would ever be such thing as international travel again with the restrictions and covid passports and vaccinations so from the pandemic, really, the staycation was really born. That caused an almighty surge in the motorhome market and over 16,600 motorhomes were registered from July 2020 to June 2021. That was a massive increase of 8.25% on the previous record, which was set in 2018 and 2019. And that growth brought the total value of the motorhome market in the UK to £1.15 billion. Now, let's start to have a look at the motorhome market as it stands today. Motorhomes in the UK, they're not just leisure vehicles. They symbolise an extensive subculture, invoking a sense of real freedom and adventure. And presently, over last year and the year before, the motorhome market really has shown, despite everything that's going on around it, robust growth. The last few years have seen several shifts in the motorhome market, none more so than the rapid growth, like we mentioned before, of the staycation. A lot of people, like myself once again, weren't sure if there would ever be such a thing as a, a long-haul holiday or fly holidays. Given the restrictions on flight and travel abroad, a lot of people have chosen to holiday much, much closer to home. Consequently, because of that, sales of things like motorhomes, caravans, trailer tents, tents, leisure vehicles in general have really soared. And certainly for the last three years, that demand has been rising and rising and really shows no sign of letting up. Further intelligence reveals that the increase in remote working has also been a driving factor as it allows um, professionals to work from anywhere rather than being stuck in an office somewhere. More professionals like ourselves are choosing to move away from the 9 to 5 office environment and have started to adopt a more nomadic lifestyle, capitalised on the chance to work in multiple places around the world and taking in a little bit of nature whilst they're doing it. There's a clear pattern. The motorhome market has started to shift as people's lifestyles and lifestyle choices have had to shift as well. well what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the predicted trends for motorhomes in 2024. Firstly, the singular force of external factors has to be taken into account when it looks at the market for 2024. Be that economic fluctuations, currency fluctuations, the impact of Brexit, the war in Ukraine, the war in Israel. These are all international factors which, even though they're happening abroad, can still impact markets in the UK. From an internal point of view as well, motorhome manufacturers are constantly evolving the manufacturing process which goes into the motorhomes putting uh, you know, increased costs into the manufacturing process, uh, higher levels of quality, higher levels of technology, which all drive the price up. Also as well, let's not forget the drive that there is at the moment to try and make everything more economical and greener, especially as we start to move into the world where there are things like electric motorhomes. 
And with regards to possible downturns, some people do predict that there might be a slight dip in the market as the downturn from the high level of post-pandemic sales starts to level out. Other people anticipate that the market will continue to grow as people have started to get a taste for a more freer lifestyle and a lifestyle that allows them to travel more with the joys of a motorhome. Predominantly, the consensus tends to lead towards stabilisation rather than a crash. However, this chiefly depends on how the market adapts to the ebbs and flows of the coming year with the squeeze that there is on things like cost of living, inflation and how rapidly it can meet consumers' demands. Economic health heavily influences motorhome prices. Essentially, when the economy thrives, people have more disposable income and that disposable income can go on things which aren't deemed as essentials, things like motorhomes. On the contrary, when the economy dips, people's wallets start getting squeezed and disposable income comes down, then it makes it more difficult for people to be able to go and spend money on those luxury items. Now, how an economic downturn could impact motorhome prices warrants a further conversation. Usually, during an economic downturn, there is a reduction in consumer confidence. This results in reduced spending, people saving money, as they've got less money available to be able to spend on those additional items. And as motorhomes are generally classified as a luxury item, their demand you would expect to reduce during economic hardships, and therefore pushing their price downwards. A basic principle of economics is the supply and demand mechanism. And that plays a significant role in motorhome pricing. In really, really simple terms, if the demand for motorhomes outgrows the supply, you would expect prices to go up. And then on the flip side, if supply outmeets demand, then you would expect prices to therefore come down. Speaking of the current trends in the motorhome market, we see a tale of two conflicting narratives. On one hand, the post-COVID boom saw an almighty surge in demand, which inevitably drives prices upwards. And on the other hand, supply chain challenges have also seen a reduction in the ability to supply motorhomes, therefore driving the prices up. Shedding light on these two trends just goes to show that there is the potential in 2024 for motorhome prices to continue to rise. However, Responding to these challenging market conditions requires a deep understanding, attention to detail, and the ability to cast an informed opinion on what the future of the moto market will be in 2024. So this is my prediction for the motorhome market in 2024. So I, I don't for one second profess to be um, an economist or I don't profess to work for the Bank of England. But having had plenty of years now working in the leisure industry and the leisure vehicle industry, I think that 2024 is going to be another massive, massive year for motorhomes. And not just motorhomes, if you look at the forecast on the sale of camper vans, there's going to be an even greater growth market than motorhomes. But you've only got to look at what's happening with caravans and things like that. 2024 is going to be a massive year. I'm going to stick my neck out on the line as well and I'm going to predict that I think 2024 is going to be a record-breaking year for motorhomes. You only have to look at the size of the motorhome and caravan show at the NEC in October. It was, it was absolutely massive. There were record numbers in attendance and I've never ever seen so many motorhomes in, in one place. It was honestly, it was huge. I believe if there is going to be a crash... It's not going to be for several years yet. You've only got to look at the growth predictions now for the value of the motorhome market. And it's going to double in size from 2017 to 2027. Um, and, you know, 39% of that growth is forecasted to happen in Europe. So 2024 isn't going to be the year of the great motorhome crash. So if you were waiting to see if there was going to be a crash so you could pick yourself up a bargain, then 2024, unfortunately, won't be your year. Thanks for watching.